Hi guys, it's Ali. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm comparing two of the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation shades. So if you want to see what's going down with the shades and maybe do a little bit of shade matching if you are similar to my skin tone, then go ahead and keep on watching. I've already tried this foundation and figured out my shade. I do currently wear 13 Warm. So if you do want a first impression, sort of more in depth, I did a very, very detailed video a couple of days ago that I will link in the description box down below. This video is literally just to compare the shades and the reason I'm doing that is that I can appreciate that Charlotte Tilbury foundations can be a little bit difficult to match. So when I did see 14 Cool, no matter how in love I was with 13 Warm, I thought to myself, okay. <laughs> okay some of us may be confused and i took it upon myself to film this video just to maybe provide some clarity let you see the shades up front before you kind of make the commitment to buy a shade and then be stuck with a foundation that you don't like because obviously looking at the models and stuff on the charlotte tilbury website i don't think i look like any of them skin tone wise but i do have two foundations here one which i think is my perfect match and another one which i think is probably just gonna work out just as nice and looking at it sort of next to me this one looks like it matches me a lot more than this one i look i don't know what to tell you and a thing that i found as well when I was reviewing the Airbrush Flawless collection last year is that I have no idea what cool means when it comes to Charlotte Tilbury products because I did try the foundation in 14 cool and it did not pull cool at any given point in that video like I'm just I'm still discombobulated <laughs> about what cool tone means when it comes to charlotte tilbury foundations and stuff i will of course leave a link to that video in the description box down below but just so you can get a rough idea of what i mean here is a picture of me wearing the 14 cool in the airbrush flawless as you can see i don't look cool toned i don't know what to say i don't and i'm by no means a cool toned babe anyway as you can see my skin i'm very warm toned so 13 warm just sounded a lot more like me. So what I'm gonna do now, we're gonna do some hand swatches, then I'll swatch it on my face, and then I'll do half and half face application so we can see what the shades are looking like, what kind of leg room we've got to play with the shades and things like that. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get swatching. It just occurred to me that I didn't do a side by side of the shades. So this is all what they look like. This one here is our 13 warm, if it's gonna focus. And this is 14 cool. So this is what the shades look like next to each other. I feel like the jump between these two shades and 14 neutral is quite significant because these both look fairly light. But 14 neutral literally looks very dark to me. 13 warm is the one at the top here. And 14 cool is here. So yeah, looking at it, I feel like 14 cool, I can definitely get away with it, if not like get a very gorgeous, gorgeous look with it. I It doesn't look too dark at all. But the thing is, I know for a fact that 13 warm isn't too light for me, but in the swatch here, it looks too light for me. This is insane. I'm gonna start with 13 warm. So this is 13 warm and then right next to it I'm going to do 14 cool. That is insane to me. Looking at them swatched on my face, I'm in disbelief that this is the shade that matches me absolutely perfectly. This is, I don't know what to say. But I am going to, should I try and blend them out into my cheeks so you can see? now I'm gonna have to reprime my face and I'm just gonna blend the other shade into it because I just you know I'm not crazy I promise you when I say 13 warm is my shade I'm literally not crazy it looks it looks very light here but once you get the whole application I promise you it works but do you see I don't feel like this is a bad match for me I feel like it will look really nice so I'm gonna wipe this off and we're literally gonna do half and half of the face so we can see the shade and determine what is going on <laughs> because a lot is happening a lot is happening I 
think I'm going to start with the 13 Warm because I've already done a whole video on this shade. So I'll do it on this side of my face and then I'll put 14 Cool on this side. I've decided on a beauty blender today. I did view the brush in my first video. Okay, well, might be an idea to move my hair out of the way. <laughs> Putting foundation in my hair. Yeah. So this shade literally just blends it seamlessly into my face. Do you see that? So it's not like a dramatic shift or anything like that. Your girl is not insane, I promise. <laughs> but the finish of this foundation, I I don't know what to say. It's absolutely to die for. I love, love this foundation. So that is the single application of the 13 Warm. And now I'm going to go and do 14 Cool. I'm very intrigued to see what this is going to look like on half a face. I'm not going to lie. And I'm going to use a brush to apply this side. Because I've just used my Beauty Blender on the other side. Oh, 13 Cool might be... Look. We might have a versatile... Wait a minute. Because do I like 14 cool more than I like 13 warm? This is okay. This is very interesting. This is very interesting. I think I think I might like well 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 when I bought 14 cool I was fairly sure that I was just gonna give the shade to my sister because it's more her tone than me but I kind of really like how this one looks like even now and my skin tone isn't tanned or anything like that this is literally just how my skin looks in the winter and I can just imagine in the in the summertime when I've picked up a little bit of a tan the shade will be a little bit more true toned this is kind of insane I like both sides but because my neck is darker than my face and everything like that I feel like this side is blending in a lot more the transition just seems a lot less dramatic with the 14 call but then looking over here at 13 warm i don't see any issues with this shade this is like scary so i'm fairly certain that a lot of us can get away with wearing both shades and if you're someone who's seen 13 warm and decided that it's too light for you or you don't like the tone of it 14 cool is your girl 14 cool is where you want to be because she's giving she is i don't know what to say okay now that we've seen both sides side by side i've already done a full face of the 13 warm i'm gonna do all 14 warm now and yeah we're just gonna see how the whole shade sits and i'm just gonna see how if i like it as a whole on my face or if it's just seeing it half and half like this that i like the shade you know now that i've got the shade all over my face i think i am leaning more towards the 13 warm just because i feel like this one it does make me look a lot toastier than the 13 warm did the 13 warm was definitely my skin but with some enhancement this one i feel like i've been to florida for a month and just you know caught a little bit of a tan like i usually do yeah so i feel like this is more of my summer tone although i can pretty much pull this shade off as you guys can see looking at me now um this doesn't look like it's an off shade if that makes sense it looks like it just looks like a foundation and my skin is absolutely glowing this is a very very lightweight foundation but just to get a full effect of what this product is giving i'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of that airbrush flawless powder on top because i did this with the other shade and i just want to give it a fair shot 
and just you know get an overall idea of what's happening with this shade so i'm just taking a fluffy brush this is my mima cosmetics brush in number 12 and then i've got the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless powder in the shade four deep and i literally just dab this on like that and what it does is it takes some of that glow away but not all of it do you see like we get more of like an airbrush finish and i love that <laughs> i love that how i described it in the other video was that you get the effect of the airbrush flawless foundation without the weight of the foundation yeah this shade is definitely more on the toasty side so i'll be reaching for this one during the summer which is very good because it's so lightweight and i don't like having too dense of a product on my face during the summertime just because of the heat and the humidity i much prefer a lighter thing i typically go for a powder foundation but i feel like this is going to perform really well in the summertime that's what i feel just to close off the video i'm going to do everything that i did last time concealer highlight blush everything and then we'll just in this lovely video so as you can see i've made some additions and honestly now that i've done my highlighting and a little bit of bronzing i like this shade a little bit more and it's become a lot more my toned just because i've managed to lighten up the areas of my face that i would need to and i'm really 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 loving this shade so i'm torn i kind of like both shades and i love the foundation and the formula i'm probably going to keep both shades because as you can see they both work for me so it's definitely one of those things that you've got a little bit of leg room to play with especially if you are a shade twin of mine then definitely you know see what you like use this video for reference i've done swatches you know i've applied both shades see which one is calling you more i feel like a lot of people are probably going to lean more towards the 14 call just because of i think it looks more wearable when you're swatching the 13 warm looked very 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 yellow but as you guys saw it sits beautifully on my skin tone and yeah so this is just I, I still love this foundation. I think Charlotte Tilbury could do better with the shade range. Um, we need a lot more shades in the deep part of the foundation section because I just think the jump between 13, 14 core and 14 neutral is... It's doing higgledy piggledy. It's doing higgledy piggledy. I don't know what happens with the shades range choosing and stuff, but I'm satisfied with the shades that I've got. I think the foundation is absolutely amazing. And I think it's Charlotte Tilbury's fastest selling foundation for a reason. This, I would say believe the hype. As long as you're not an oily skin babe, believe the hype. This is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And I love it. So yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say on this video. If there are any questions that you have, I urge you to check my first video because I may have already answered that question in that video but if you check there and you can't find the answer then of course drop a question in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to answer. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel and I'll see you in my next one.